The experience of divine wisdom is your sacred right. Divine wisdom is what guides you along a spiritual path. It is this inner knowing that helps you to witness yourself as infinitely more abundant, loving, incredible. It is your inner wisdom that guides you to live your highest potential and to experience all that you are even as you continue to expand and seek more. In each episode of the Wisdom Podcast, you will hear what insights, offerings, and truth have helped others conquer their fears. Be resilient, live empowered and happy. You may hear your own story in some of the stories of my clients as they have healed themselves, become in control of their life, and as they have reclaimed their authentic power. Seeking a deeper understanding and meaning of life awakens us to discover our purpose and to witness the infinite beauty and joy that is so abundant. All of us are on a sacred path. When we awaken to this, we easily access the guidance of our inner wisdom and we see the beauty of life unfolding in perfect ways to help us manifest all of what we want. I hope that each episode of this podcast can offer something relevant and timely for you and that the sacred path that you are on is one that you choose deliberately based on the inspired wisdom of your inner truth as you live a beautiful and love-filled life. In this episode, we continue to discuss the importance of this time in your life. If you like, you may wish to listen to last week's episode of Season 2, or any of the bonus episodes that closed out Season 1 as we continue to navigate this new future that we are now stepping into. Even as this episode is released months into this global pandemic of 2020, the messages that I share are omnipresent and incredibly important for you whenever you listen, because now is the future. For however you have been living your life up until this moment, you must realize that you have been choosing your future. What I want to emphasize and inspire at this time, and in a brave new world that we are all being rebirthed into, is the absolute need for greater conscious choice, to wield the freedom that you hold, to inspire what you deeply desire and to live fearless of this as you go and slay this, because you now understand that you are able to have everything that you have always wanted. Everything that you will attain now comes with work and effort, but it is most possible. It comes with desire that must be steadfast and laser-focused, And of course, belief in your deserving of this. All of these conditions or factors, if you will, are completely within your reach. Everything that you want begins with a thought, an idea, and then resolve. The decision to not look back, to focus on what is wanted, and to live this now with kindness and love in your heart, as this will always be your greatest power. Dive in with me to this week's episode and let me share with you what is most important right now. Your future is in your hands. What have you been wanting and waiting for is before you now. Now is the time to take new action. This time is unprecedented in our lives, and with it is the possibility for change 
and new beginnings of consciousness and of loving kindness for all living beings. Now is the time to set in motion what you have been wanting for so long. Now is your time. It is the time for all of us to mobilize into action what is most wanted and to step forth into this brave new world that we are living. You have been waiting for this time, a time in which you can make the changes that you have wanted and desired. We all have, for living life in a new way, a way that will free you to live how you truly want. And this doesn't require that you own a jet plane or have several homes all over the world. This is about the kind of person that you decide to be and to live as this now. You don't need a reason to begin, just a freeing desire initiated by your heart, your gut, to live on your own terms. Your life and each of its sacred moments culminate into now. The future is here. You are ready. You have been waiting for this time, waiting for something to build momentum, to feel right, to validate what you have known, to feel extraordinary, to help you launch yourself forward in a way that you have been meaning to do for a time. The future is now. This is your time to step up, to honor yourself, first by being committed to listen to the inner voice of your heart. Sometimes we feel this as a gut instinct or our intuition, what we experience as pure knowing and the instantaneous feeling of calm and peace, like a wave flowing through our entire body. You have been waiting for this time to do this inner work, to pay attention to your truth, because this is what perpetuates growth and freedom. Your willingness to know yourself incredibly well and to commit to becoming more of raising the bar, of choosing based on what allows you to feel authentic happiness and freedom is what you are now being called to do. In this time of global consciousness and simultaneously uncertainty, there is hope for a better way of living life. Now is not the time to wait, but rather to return to what you have always known, And you will find these answers as you go within yourself and as you ask the question, what do I need to do now to live all of the life that I so want? What do I need to do now to live all of the life that I so want? Be present with this question for another few moments as the answers rise up to greet you. You may wish to write your answers as they are precious and divinely inspired. You may also be surprised at how simple your answers are. For example, to be happy now, to be free, to love yourself now exactly as how you are, to love others freely and without conditions, to be loving and kind, to be peaceful with yourself and all others, 
to remind yourself that everything is possible, that you can have what is wanted. Do this for yourself. Ask the question and allow your answers to be felt from within. With your answers, you can mobilize yourself into action, trusting in your inner wisdom because it also feels right. It feels accurate and true and has certain knowing. You may use this question during meditation or self-reflection in moments where you can be quiet as you go within yourself and as you contemplate your life at this time and of what is wanted. This inner wisdom, your inner wisdom, opens you to reveal your truth and an awakened state of awareness. Most remarkably, your answers to this question will challenge you on two levels. The first is the practical aspects of what steps you need to take now to have what you want. To get started, to move yourself in the direction of what is wanted with each step. The other layer or level of this guiding truth is the overarching practice of living as love in action. It's what I call living as your highest self. And it is something that we all must begin to do now. When you begin to live intentionally as loving kindness, you ignite the wisdom and force of your soul consciousness as pure energy. This is the same energy that we might label true love spiritual love, love of all humanity, love of the planet, love of all living beings, and unconditional love for yourself. The emotion of love is often experienced as joy, as your heart wide open and expansive. Sometimes we are brought to tears when we are moved by something we consider beautiful or of inspiration, such as words or music. Any moment has the ability to move you into an altered state of feeling, love, pure and rapturous love. This experience or state of being in which one is carried away by overwhelming emotion or of mystical experience in which you witness an exalted state of knowledge or understanding of divine consciousness. This experience is made more frequent if you choose to see everything as having divine purpose and as you acknowledge your free will to choose what you desire so that you are creating your future now and in each new moment that you live awake and aware and in carrying out the answers to the question I posed. This is your time. There is no more waiting to live the life that you have already decided that you've always wanted. There is nothing that can hold you back except what you tell yourself and believe. The difference now is that you have decided that you are willing to go forward, to not hold yourself back, to acknowledge that there may be lingering thoughts that hold fear for you, but these thoughts can be overcome. They can be changed by what new thinking you will choose to use. New thoughts that remind you of the precious nature of time. That it is only ever this moment that you have. And that as you live each moment on fire, purposeful, kind, and loving to yourself. And as you carry out the action steps that are needed right now. This and the complete desire for the life that you are choosing 
will inspire you. First, know that every small step towards living the future now is going to help. Any thoughts that you hold that keep you stuck in fear or living of your ego, which is to say that you are also not living truthful and self-honest, are capable of extinguishing. Instead, you can choose to hold different thoughts that are based in truth. These new thoughts will be what compels you to act now. As part of the ever-present series of tools and strategies that I share in each episode and that are meant to help and support your positive actions and change, I'm including here a link to a video in which I describe the exact process for changing and challenging any thoughts that hold you back, that limit you from taking action towards what you truly want. It will be a helpful resource and something that you may use not only at this time, but always. Begin now. What is one thing that you have deeply wanted, that you know you need to do, but have not yet put into action? What do you need to tell yourself to make it easy for you to begin, to act now, to live the future in this present moment? It's like being the person that you have always wanted to be because you are choosing this and you are living as this person now. There is not anything more that you need except to decide and to live this. Anything that you need to do or be is possible now. Right here, right now is the future. There is nothing that you need to wait for. There is nothing more that needs to happen before you can begin. In the midst of all of the force change that you have personally experienced, there is always your free will to choose how you will live your life and of the person you choose to be now. We are forever choosing, whether consciously, as I am suggesting to you, or we are choosing by default, by not being present and aware of our hindering thoughts and feelings. We react, our fear and ego hijacking our conscious and rational mind. This time will continue to bring clarity of focus of what is wanted. This time will also be nudging you to live more of your life in the present moment, to witness the perfection of eternity that is possible when you live out of the present moment, when you choose to hover here in this blissful state of being. You have already chosen your desire of it makes it so. Now, let your actions rise up. Be of the present moment so that you may witness everything as it is. And as you remain present, you begin to realize that there is only this moment. There is only each moment. Your mind quiet as it is witness to the experience of the future. That you are living now. In the previous episode, I spoke about rebirth and awakening and what it means to live with your eyes wide open, to see everything as it is, to not convince yourself of something else because this moves you away from truth. Here, I am reminding you to choose wisely your thoughts, to lead with your heart, to use this time now for deciding how you will approach and live life differently. 
Everything in the world is being re-examined. Everything is up for revision and hope. Everything that you have wanted is also possible as you focus intently on this. Remind yourself of what is wanted. Reaffirm this in a list that you write as you see the words as a comfortable reminder of this. You have this time to use wisely, to face what fears may be lingering, and to focus on what is wanted. To rebirth yourself is to decide what is most wanted and to take the steps now towards this with faith. Faith in what you know you want. Faith that all will unfold itself in precisely the best and right way as long as you continue to focus on what is most desired and to feel this wholly of your heart. And then this or something better will always rise up for you. It requires that you have absolute conviction towards what your heart yearns for most as you make choices in the present, as if this was your reality. The future is now. The future is the certainty of what you are building and bringing to you by choosing, deciding to live with your heart open and to uphold your deepest desires of what is wanted. There is this window into light, into certainty, into pure knowing that exists now. You feel it. You know of its presence as the knowledge that you are manifesting all of what is most wanted. Give yourself the permission to step forward into this with all of your heart and will and belief. There is no turning back. There is only the peace of forward, positive motion, trust, faith, and the decision that you make to do this for yourself now. See if you can bypass the resistance of your thoughts, of what you have been telling yourself that keeps you from what you truly want of the future. Instead, believe in the power of the future being in your hands and your heart as you mobilize yourself into positive action towards what is most wanted. It is always a choice to live your destiny, to look towards what is most wanted and to move in the direction of everything that you want. Look here, look now. Your future is what you are deciding with every conscious choice. Take advantage of knowing what is wanted and live your truth. Build on this positive momentum as you seek what you desire most now. And for all of the right reasons, compassion, loving kindness, honesty, self-forgiveness, acceptance of what you have control over, and this includes everything of your mind and actions, and of course, care of one another and the planet. When you can forgo the thoughts that hold you back, thoughts that are mired in fear and ego, and instead focus on what is wanted, and how you can have this because of your actions and in holding belief in this outcome, you now have a neutral platform in which to act, to consistently move in this direction. Decision-making is an act of freedom. It must come out of the expansive nature of your heart as you choose to love and to be love. 
I'd like you to look beyond what is right in front of you, beyond the day-to-day -day aspects of life that keep you busy and occupied, and look ahead into your future. Contemplate and imagine what choices you need to make now to live your future in each present moment. And then embrace the present. Embrace what you have decided, what you have awakened to, what you have chosen to become. What do you need to do or become? The future is now. Begin this. Take what steps are needed now as you begin living your future in the present moment. You do not need to be making a six or more figure income right now to prove to yourself that you are doing what you love and to live this with enthusiasm and gratitude. The income that you want will come as you live the future now, as you take the steps to do what is needed now, moment by moment, and as you continue to envision your destiny unfold because of each present moment choice, including how you have chosen to be different. If our lives during this time of COVID-19 have taught us one overarching lesson, it is of fatal importance how we treat one another, how we must exist in harmony with all living beings on the planet, and especially those we love the most. We have learned that our actions must be loving and kind to all others and to ourself if we are to thrive and to feel authentic happiness readily. This is how we live as the precious nature of what we truly are. We have also learned to recognize our free will choice as the single determining factor of how we may live a harmonious life and to nourish and honor our relationships, our work, and how we think and feel about ourselves. It is this overriding theme that everything is significant, everything is sacred and perfect, and that it is possible to witness this when we live of the present moment. It is up to you to witness life as complete, with perfection. Much in the same way that your body and mind have the perfect ability to heal, and that you may support this in your choices for living a healthful and pure life. In this time, we are challenged to live awake, to be conscious and aware of everything, and perhaps most diligently of our thoughts and actions, and to take the steps towards what our heart and desires yearn for. We are all being called to live as our highest self. As we do this, we see how effortless and purely enjoyable it is. This time right now requires that we rethink what we have always done. What limiting beliefs and critical thoughts keep us mired in self-blame and doubt, and in the way in which we numb ourselves from what action is truly needed. Your success and happiness is driven by your mindset and the choices that you make in each moment. Success is happiness and the freedom in which to live a life that is most inspiring and meaningful to you. You are ready for this step forward in your journey. You have always been ready. You may have held yourself back, been afraid to step forward until now. Now is the time to give yourself permission 
to take the steps that you know are needed with loving thoughts to support you, to begin living what you have been dreaming of wanting so that this can be your life lived now. And a loving end note, if you have any questions about what you just heard, please reach out to me. And if you would like my help to live the future now, let me be this help for you. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dorothy. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of the Wisdom Podcast. To hear more, please check out the other episodes here. And then join me at DorothyRatusny.com, where you can share your questions and feedback from this or any episode with me. And where you'll also find the Wisdom Blog, the inspiration for this podcast, the latest online courses that I teach, my YouTube videos, an extensive library of free guided meditations for you to experience and enjoy, plus other special offerings of love. Please also visit me on social media and say hello. Allow yourself to go within, to access your inner wisdom, and to live this. Awaken your authentic power, live your truth, and be love. This is Dorothy. Namaste.